Today on TMN IT Jams, we're joined by Sumit Bansal, who is the Vice President of the APJ region at Bluevoyant. Bluevoyant leverages the best technology, talent, and telemetry in the industry to deliver positive security outcomes that drive business results. Sumit joins us today to tell us more about Bluevoyant and what they're doing in the APJ market. Thank you for coming along, Sumit, and welcome to the jam. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Well, let's get straight into it. For a business that hasn't worked with Bluevoyant before, what are your key products and offerings? That's a very good question. So uh, when uh, we get in front of uh, CISOs or security information security officers, there are three things they uh, care about and they always ask the same questions. So how are you going to protect my network and my organization? How are you going to protect my brand and my reputation? And how do I protect myself against threats brought in by my suppliers, my vendors? So the, the, these three things weigh very heavily on every CISO's mind. So what we do, we've built uh, an AI machine learning platform. Um, it's a data analytics platform combined with human beings who, are, who come from national security agencies around the world to deliver um, a, a security services for customers <clears throat> in three vectors, excuse me. The three vectors are essentially looking at the internal network, looking, illuminating the internal network, illuminating the external relationships that every organization has with their suppliers and vendors. Then also looking at the brand presence, whether it's in the digital space. So essentially in the clear, clear web, the deep web and the dark web. Um, and this will help the customers reduce the risk uh, in you know uh, managing uh, their security, and not only that, um, these platforms what they allow us to do is to reduce the noise for customers. Uh, in in large organizations, generally people uh, organizations will have security operation centers of their own, but the challenge they have is that they are managing so many alerts that don't know which one's benign, which one's malicious, and they might be chasing the ones that are not really malicious and the and the ones can escape and uh, cause damage so what we do is we can remove 90 percent of that noise through our ai machine learning engine and then the 10 percent goes to our very highly skilled analysts and they're able to then investigate and manage those alerts and remediate them for the customer awesome now what are the most recent improvements or innovations in bluepoint's offerings so uh, as you've heard so many times uh, in recent press, generative AI um, is, uh, is becoming very uh, popular with hackers. Um, and, and so we saw an incident where uh, someone demonstrated they could uh, create 1,000 websites, fake websites in a day. So our focus is really around um, you know, making our AI and our machine learning engine as robust as possible. Uh, to weed out uh, these incidents. Uh, and, you know, the, the machine learning platform can only be as good as what information we feed to it. So we have data scientists who help label and correctly address the right, uh, um, you know, um, uh, sector of, of, of threat, if you like, and making sure that we can catch those and uh, put in enough security content um, to make sure that you know, we are able to uh, stop these kind of threats happening uh, for customers well before uh, they become a, a trend in the market. Well, now, recently, supply chain breaches in the APEC region are becoming more common. Yeah. Why is this and what can organizations do to protect themselves? Sure. So there's a few reasons. Um, think of it this way. When customers, organizations are looking at bolstering their internal network, by you know using managed security service providers like us they are stopping hackers from coming in directly so what hackers are looking for or threat actors are looking for weaknesses where they can traverse and and attack the organization so what they do is they look for any relationships the customer has or the organization has with vendors suppliers they could be uh, holding some of their ip from the information, that's customer information, if you like. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and looking at those suppliers and vendors who have not created security 
uh, a robust security environment for themselves. So essentially what they're looking for is uh, any misconfigurations, unpatched machines, applications, and, and they do a scan from the outside to look for these. And these tools are very easily available on the dark web. And so they become easy targets. So if, if your supply chain ecosystem as an organization is not being secured, then there is a chance that if they are compromised, not only will they cause a, 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 you know, a chance of that breach happening, but also a disruption in the supply chain. Awesome. Well, now, what trends are your product development teams laser focused on next? So, um, so we built this platform to do three things. One is to protect from a, a, a organizations the internal assets from the outside world. Then, of course, looking for um, all the threats that are on the relationships, ex external uh, relationships with vendors and suppliers. And of course, the, the reputation and the brand uh, presence in, in the digital world. So what we are doing is combining them through one platform, providing customer with an internal and external cybersecurity view. Um, and that will give them a much better way to fight against um, threats. And, and, and so what we do is um, um, some of the things that are very important in, in, uh, in our region in ANZ and in Asia is around data privacy. So customers are very concerned about that. Um, are you touching my raw logs? Why, uh, you know, I, I don't want you to, to be in my environment. I want full visibility of what you're doing for me. So we built our solutions around making sure that um, we work in the customer's environment. They don't come to us, we come to them. And what we do is we create security content that we push into their environment to create the detections and then only alerts, no, no data from the customer comes into our platform where we do the um, management of that, that, those alerts to make sure whether they are malicious or benign. Um, and, and then if they need further investigation, we work uh, through analysts to, to provide the service. So it's a fully managed service that we provide to customers so at any point in time, um, that can be hands off. But you know, uh, some customers want a hybrid approach where they have invested in people and security operations center. And what they're looking for is a co-managed approach where you know, we provide them the platform that gives them the, that take, takes away the noise and then they can manage um, those alerts uh, themselves and do the investigations. That way um, they have uh, better control over their environment um, and also, you know, good justification um, to senior management on, on the investment they've made um, in, in these security technologies. Well, I guess one final question I would ask is what infrastructure or resources does Bluepoint have in the APAC market? Sure. So one thing you need to understand and, uh, is that threat actors use the power of web, the power of the internet. So they can be anywhere and they coordinate with each other, they really do. They coordinate with each other to launch an attack. So it's not necessary um, for infrastructure to be in Australia or to be in New Zealand. So what we've built is a platform that's global um, and a team of experts that reside in uh, Europe, US um, uh, and, and in Asia. And what we do is essentially we provide the best talent and best skills to anyone in the world. Um, having said that, what we are doing here in, in Asia and, and uh, in ANZ is we are putting people on the ground to help consult with customers and help them understand where the gaps are in the, in the environment and, and look at those risks and how we can uh, help mitigate those. And, um, and I have a delivery team also based out of this region um, that does some of the professional services work uh, that needs to be done uh, uh, up front to make sure their environments are ready uh, to be managed properly. Awesome. Well, it has been a pleasure learning more about Bluevoint and having you on the jam, Samit. Uh, we look forward to hearing more from Bluevoint very soon. Thank you, Tom.